Imagine a fighter jet so advanced it can vanish without stealth coding. A jet that doesn't need to hide because it blinds everyone else. That jet is Sweden's Gripen E. And deep inside it lies a weapon NATO once thought only the United States could master. An electronic warfare brain capable of jamming, deceiving, and neutralizing entire air defense networks. Today we uncover why NATO commanders, radar engineers, and even allied pilots quietly admit this small Swedish jet scares them. For decades, stealth has been seen as the ultimate advantage in air combat. The idea that being invisible meant being unbeatable. But the Gripen E challenges that myth. Instead of trying to hide, Sweden built a jet that can fight in the open, jam, deceive, and outsmart even stealth fighters. Modern radars, infrared sensors, and electronic detection systems are evolving fast, making stealth less reliable than it once was. The Gripen E's Arexis Electronic Warfare Suite turns this to its advantage. It doesn't just avoid detection. It actively manipulates the battlefield, confusing enemy sensors and breaking their lock-ons. In the age of electronic warfare, the true power no longer lies in invisibility. It lies in control of the electromagnetic spectrum. And that's where the grip and E quietly destroys the myth of stealth supremacy. At the heart of the grip and E lies its most powerful weapon, its brain. Unlike most fighter jets that rely on multiple disconnected systems, the Gripen E integrates everything through an AI assisted sensor fusion computer architecture. This allows it to process data from radars, infrared sensors, jammers, and satellites in real time, creating a single crystal clear picture of the entire battlefield. This digital brain, powered by Saab's mission system, gives pilots an unmatched tactical advantage. It doesn't just show targets. It predicts, prioritizes, and even suggests countermeasures automatically. Combined with the Arexis Electronic Warfare Suite, the Gripen E can detect, deceive, and neutralize enemy signals faster than human reaction time. In short, the Gripen E isn't just a fighter, and it's a flying data center, capable of outthinking its opponents before they even realize it's there. The Gripen E's greatest defense isn't its speed or stealth coding. It's what can't be seen. It's invisible electronic shield. Through the Arexis electronic warfare system, the jet surrounds itself with layers of protection made of pure signal energy. It can jam enemy radars, confuse incoming missiles, and even make itself disappear from detection by creating false targets or altering its radar signature in real time. This system acts like an invisible force field, giving the Gripe and E the ability to fly straight into enemy territory without being locked on. Unlike passive stealth jets that rely on shape and coding, the Gripe and E actively fights back in the electromagnetic spectrum, adapting, reacting, and striking through invisible waves. For NATO and other air forces, this kind of electronic camouflage changes everything. It means the Gripe and E doesn't just dodge danger, and it controls it. NATO's unease with the Gripen E doesn't come from its firepower, it comes from its freedom. The Gripen E represents a fighter that doesn't depend on US or NATO systems for support, software, or weapons integration. That independence threatens the monopoly of Western defense giants and challenges the political control that often comes with military hardware. What makes NATO even more nervous is the Gripen E's ability to operate within their own electronic frequencies. Its Arexis suite can analyze, jam, and mimic NATO-grade signals, making it a potential wildcard even inside Allied airspace. In other words, it's a jet that can play NATO's game and win. So while the Gripen E may come from a neutral nation, its technology gives smaller countries the kind of strategic autonomy that superpowers aren't comfortable with. That's why NATO watches it closely, not as a threat, but as a disruptor. For decades, the world believed that stealth was the ultimate key to air dominance, invisible jets slipping through radar undetected. But the Gripen E challenges that idea. Instead of hiding, it fights back using advanced electronic warfare EW technology. Stealth has limits. Once a jet is detected, it's vulnerable. 
The Gripen E's Arexis EW system flips the script. It can jam enemy radars, scramble missile guidance, and even feed false data into enemy systems. It's not about being invisible, it's about being untouchable. In modern warfare, where detection is almost inevitable, electronic deception beats passive stealth. The Gripen E proves that the future belongs to fighters that can outthink radars, not just avoid them. It's the dawn of a new era, the age of electronic supremacy. The Arexis Electronic Warfare System doesn't just protect the grip and E. It reshapes how entire battles are fought. Traditionally, air combat depended on speed, altitude, and missile range. But with Arexis, the fight moves into the invisible realm of frequencies and signals. It turns the electromagnetic spectrum into a new kind of battlefield, one where whoever controls the signals controls the war. Arexis allows the Gripen E to disrupt enemy communications, jam radars, and even shield allied aircraft flying nearby. This transforms a single fighter jet into a force multiplier, capable of protecting an entire formation without firing a single shot. In a world where drones, satellites, and sensors dominate, Arexis gives Sweden, and any nation operating the Gripen E, a massive strategic edge. It's not about destroying enemies anymore, and it's about making them blind, deaf, and powerless. When Brazil joined the Gripen E program, its pilots were stunned by how effectively the jet erased from enemy screens during training. Other nations took note. Thailand, India, and even Finland quietly evaluated the EW performance. And analysts inside NATO circles began to whisper, If Sweden can do this, imagine what others could copy. That's why NATO's concern isn't hostility. It's respect mixed with unease. Grip and E has democratized the most secretive art of air warfare. The wars of the future won't just be fought with missiles and bombs. They'll be fought in frequencies, algorithms, and milliseconds. And Sweden's Grip and E just proved that even the biggest alliances must rethink how they defend their skies. So yes, NATO isn't scared of Sweden. It's scared of what the Grip and E represents. A new era where electronic warfare, not stealth, decides who rules the air. This is the fighter that doesn't hide. It fights the invisible war. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the hidden power of the grip and E, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more. Episodes on the weapons reshaping our world. This is your channel name, where technology meets power. See you in the next one.